for a revision of unit 1 what you need to remember is unit 1 contains one 12 marks question and one 4 marks question as per the syllabus so total five units are there because we have already done all those things earlier we are starting the revision of regression analysis for revision what you have to remember is important points are basically everyone have to remember so whenever you are watching any video you should know what are the points to remember in this one first of all the unit name is regression analysis and it has how many types of questions three types of questions one is question based on actual mean second one questions based on assumed mean and the third one is when values are given to us now what is the meaning of actual mean actual mean means whenever we are finding we are taking mean of two variables sigma x or sigma y it should not have any decimal value to it as you mean whenever we are getting any decimal value we have to use those formulas and in question if values are directly given to us like mean is given to you standard deviation of x standard deviation of y that time one separate formulas we use so coming back to the first one so in regression analysis we have three types right first one is actual mean problems second one as you mean problems and third one problem based on values now when they will give you regression analysis or to find equations of regressions so they will give you two types of questions one is find regression equation of x on y and second one regression equation of y on x so these two equations you have to remember when the mean is actual then how to decide that the mean is actual at the time of problems i will show you what is actual mean questions and what are as you mean questions so now for actual mean questions what you have to remember regression equation of x on y x minus x bar equals to sigma x y by sigma y square into y minus y bar because we are using x variables in this one so what you have to do is while remembering this one or by by adding this you have to remember that these are capital x and capital y values capital x minus capital x bar equal to sigma small x y where small x represents x minus mean of x small y represents y minus mean of y these two things you need to get when we will start the problematic thing then you will get to know why we have taken those things what you have to remember for now is while doing regression analysis unit you have to remember there are problems there are three types of problems out of these three types you will get one type in final exam so one is actual mean for actual mean what you have to remember two formulas regression equation of x on y and regression equation of y on x for regression equation of x on y to remember you can just have one basic idea to remember this one here we have x values x minus x bar on right side denominator and this part contains y terms similarly here for regression equation of y on x we have y minus y bar on left side and x bar x minus x bar and sigma x square is there and whenever sigma is there you have to remember that we will use six, uh, small letters small x small y small upper bracket we can say then for this one regression is regression equation of y on x y minus y bar equal to sigma small x y by sigma small x square into x minus x bar similarly when the mean is assumed at the time of problems i will say you what is that assumed mean and all now for remembering the formula what you have to do is how to by heart this one we have again in assumed mean also same like actual mean we have two types of problems so based on this we can have in assumed mean also we have two types of problems one is regression equation of x on y same we have here also x on y because here actual mean is there we have some small formula here compared to the previous one this one this formula is quite lengthy so what we have regression equation of x on y x minus x bar equals to take one square bracket sigma dx dy see sigma is not given for both sigma is single sigma dx and dy minus 
sigma dx into sigma dy. So while writing the formula, consider two round brackets to these two, separate them because both have a sigma to it, divided by n. And this division is not for all, only for this value. Then whole divided by sigma dy square minus sigma dy whole square divided by n into y minus y bar. Similarly, regression equation of y on x, y minus y bar, these are also capital letters. These are whenever sigma is there, we will use small letters. So, sigma dx dy minus sigma dx sigma dy by n whole divided by sigma dx square minus sigma dx whole square by n into capital X minus capital X bar. Then the third one, when the values are given, that time we have regression equation of x1 y, x minus x bar equals to small r, where r represents the correlation value or as we have already discussed earlier, because we are doing revision, so what you have to do is maximum, the, you have to remember the formulas for this time, then at the time of doing the problems, then I will tell you what is, how to recall all those three types. So first one, when values were given to us, that time you should remember these two formulas. How to remember that one? Capital X minus X bar equals to R into, the, this is standard deviation symbol, standard deviation of X divided by standard deviation of Y into Y minus Y bar. Similarly, regression equation of Y on X, capital Y minus Y bar equals to R into standard deviation of Y by standard deviation of X into X minus X bar. Same uh, logic you can remember here. When we are writing y values here, the denominator should be y value. When we are write, taking x values, the denominator value should be x. So again, you have the formula idea here. So in regression analysis, first foremost thing, you have to remember that there are three types of problems which they will ask you for 12 months. Any one question, they will ask out of these three. So better, if you are good in two methods, then it is okay to get 12 marks. But the thing is, three of them are anyhow, we can say that they are related to one another. So easily you can remember. First thing is, whenever we are doing actual mean problems, when I say that after doing some uh, problem, at the time of problem, I will tell you what is actual mean. If I say what is actual mean, regression equation. So you have to remember these two. You have to tell me these two equations. So what, from your side, you need to buy hard this one. When I will ask you what are assuming formulas, you have to tell me regression equation of x1, y and regression equation of y on x. If I will ask you when values are given, what are the regression equations, that time these two regression equations. So total 6 formulas are there. So if you are good at these 6 formulas, then we can have the problems. So we will start problems now. So you have to remember those 3 things, 3 formulas, 3 set of formulas we can say. Then we can have one one problem each of three times then you will get the correct idea. you can solve some problems based on that i will give you that exercise also how to solve and all then you will get it okay